Welcome back, fantasy fiction fanatics. It's great to see you again, and I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to be talking about the magical item Star Jewels from the Dragonlance series. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, in its appearance, it's a very simple object. It is a piece of jewelry and is in the shape of an eight-pointed star. It's pretty small and can be worn. Um, it has diamonds encrusted on it as well as rubies, so it is a very decorative piece of jewelry, very flashy and uh, with a lot of gems and sparkle to it. It is always made in pairs though, for that is how it works. Now its abilities are pretty simple. The main ability is to connect two lovers together, their souls together, so that way they will always be connected and it is often given as a gift for when you are going to get married in order to promise that person that you will be married uh, in the future. And it allows them to connect souls and also can connect experiences to each other. Um, the other ability it has is to be able to let each wearer know the status of the other person. So for example, if somebody died, one of the two died, the uh, star and the jewels and everything that does dim and darkens so that way the other person will know that their lover has died unfortunately but uh it also then when they are alive like i said it connects them and they are able to experience things together to know uh how the other is feeling that kind of stuff so their souls are intertwined forever more after that in uh, the Dragonlance Chronicles, uh, Alhana is the main person that we see with it. She gives one to Strum, even though he doesn't really understand who or what it is. He just accepts it as a gift from Alhana. Um, but yes, yeah, so she is the one that understands how to use it and does give it to him and then understands what hers is saying on her end. Now, what is the importance of it to the story? The importance is one, world building. So this is a very simple item. It's a very small item. It is very limited in its um, use in the series and things like that, but it does provide really good world building because it has these little pieces like this, these little magical items, these little details that Margaret Rice and Trace Hickman put in to really make the world complete, uh, to really make the world seem realistic and to be under, um, understood by the readers, the different kind of things that can happen in this world. So it is very interesting uh, idea. It does add that little extra depth to the world and lets the reader understand even more about how this world works and the people who live in it and what kind of romance things they have. Uh, even though it's not important in the scheme of all of everything, it is still an important part to understand and to see of this world of like the everyday things. Um, character development. This also provides character to development because it adds depth to Alhana's character. As she's the one who uses it, she's the one who gives it away, she's the one who mourns over the dying uh, brightness of the star. So it makes her more interesting, it makes her more real, it shows that she has more potential than on the surface, the very surface level. She's very much prejudiced against other races of beings, humans, dwarves, any of them. She really doesn't have high opinions, but she does give this uh, piece of jewelry to Strum and falls in love with him very quickly, enough that she would give this jewel to him and connect her soul to him. So. It's a very important piece for her, and it shows her development, and it shows what her thoughts and feelings are, and how she develops from this small experience that she had with Strum, and her love that developed so quickly for him, how that changed her when she went back to her um, her home, and how how she was able to move forward from all of that with the fact that the star jewel dimmed and everything. And last but not least, it allows all the company to experience the dream that Lorak had. So because the few of them that went there and Alhana went there, it connected to Strum and that uh, his, his portion of the party that was not 
with them and they all are then connected to the dream and are experiencing it together. So they're all caught in it versus just half of them being caught in it, which is a very interesting dynamic. And of course the dream doesn't totally lead to anything concrete, but it does give a lot of foreshadowing in there, a lot of things that almost come true the way it is in the dream but don't quite come through and the dream gives us little hints about things that might be coming up afterward based on the dream and the things that are very similar to the dream makes us wonder if the dream is going to come true or not so the dream is a very important aspect of the story in the fact that it continues to haunt the reader and to haunt the characters way after they've escaped from it so it's a very very interesting portion of the story and it's all facilitated through the star jewel okay so please let me know if you have any other comments any questions anything at all about the star jewel i'd love to hear your opinion and your thoughts about it do you like this magical item would you like this magical item to be a real thing in the real world would you give that to your love and want to have that connection between uh, the two of you uh, what are your thoughts? What are your feelings? I'd love to hear about it. And I will see you guys in the next time. <laughs> Bye.